Dear Jesus, bless Kingston Major in London. Let them have a wonderful day at school. Let them learn a lot and listen to their teachers and show the love of Jesus to everyone and lead in love, kindness, and good works. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Today's vlog is going to be a little bit different because it's all about my little princess, my baby girl, London Paige Carlton. If you don't know much about my daughter, she is one of the most magnetic people you'll ever discover. She has a smile and a personality that just makes everybody just want to squeeze on her and hug on her and love her and miss her. She is one of the most beautiful souls I've ever encountered. But if you don't know, London's experienced a life that's had a lot more challenges than most of us have ever experienced and probably ever will experience. And yet she conquers every giant with a smile on her face. As you've discovered from some of our earlier vlogs, me and my wife adopted our triplets, Kingston, Major, and London. We adopted them when they were seven months old, but they were extremely premature when they were born, so they were still babies, like teeny tiny. And unfortunately, their biological parents both were on uh, substances, and the mother was on substances while they were still in the womb and created a very unhealthy environment for them. And doctors, emergency at 26 weeks, took them out, emergency delivered them because they said that they probably won't live, but they're safer out than in in the womb. And from what was explained to us, London got the bulk of the substances and the bulk of the abuse. And she took most of the hit. And when she was born, she swelled immediately to three times her size and turned completely black. And she had absolutely no chance of survival. And if she did survive, they said her uh, function in life would be very, very, very limited. They didn't think she would be able to hear, speak, see. Uh, they didn't think she would be able to stretch more than out of a ball or fetal position. Uh, she wouldn't be able to be communicating and so when we adopted them, she fit a lot of those profiles. She couldn't speak or communicate. They did think she wasn't able to see, or if she did, it was only colors. And they didn't know if she was able to hear. And she was so tight and tense from her cerebral palsy that she couldn't even unfold out of a fetal position and she would only look to the left. But man, was she gorgeous and beautiful. And she took my breath away the very first time I saw her. Now the thing with London is, she's a fighter. And she will fight you tooth and nail to get her way. But that same stubbornness when it comes to dealing with her mom and dad is the same way she has been stubborn with life. And she refused to let her circumstances define her. And she refused to let her giants defeat her. And I've seen her over the last several years prove every doctor wrong. They said she'd never speak. She started speaking. They said she couldn't see. That girl loves her tunes and loves to read her books. 
said she couldn't hear. Oh, she loved her music and sing her songs. They said she could never walk. And on Father's Day, on Father's Day, a little after her brothers, she took her very first steps. And I screamed and squealed like a little girl with joy. She's done everything to define her, but it doesn't mean her life's been easy. Doesn't mean that she hasn't had a stronger set of circumstances to overcome than most children do. And if you're not familiar with a parent that has to watch your child go through that, it's one of the hardest things ever. About a year ago, London was in a dance recital. And I'm sitting there watching her, and I'm seeing her not be able to do what all the other girls do. And it's just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with emotions and tears. And I'm overwhelmed with just this thought that I wish my daughter could do what all the other girls would do. And I become very emotional and very sad, and it's a struggle for me. And then all of a sudden I stop, and I focus directly on her face. And she has the hugest smile plaster over her face. And she has so much joy in her spirit. And she is smiling from ear to ear. And it's like, she's not a part of someone else's dance recital, but all those little girls are a part of her dance recital. And all those people aren't there to see all the other kids. They're there to see her. And she has so much joy. Where all of us adults would crumble to these giants and we would compare ourselves to everyone else because that's what we do. We compare our weaknesses to other people's strength. My daughter sees past them. She sees what she's joyful about, what she's excited about, what she loves, and she just is bubbling with joy. Oh, to have that kind of resolve in life. Oh, to tackle life with that much power, passion, and love. Oh, to look at our weaknesses and giants and to know that we can overcome them. How much greater lives would we live? My daughter inspires me. There's nothing that makes a parent more proud than seeing your daughter, who they said would never speak, would never hear, would never see, would never walk, to see her in school, to see her love school, and to love her teachers, and to learn, and not only learn, but to excel. She's reading, actually reading words. to see her walk when they thought she never walked. And not only walk, to strap on her tap shoes and her ballet slippers and to dance. It's her favorite thing in the world. And to see her hear the music and let it just bring joy to her soul and to see her so giddy and smiling and clapping and dancing and just allowing life to be a joyful ride.
convince us that Slate shines. One day, she's going to go to college. One day, she's going to start living and working in the career of her dreams. One day, I'm going to walk her down the aisle. One day, she's going to be a mother and love her children as much as she loves life. And one day, and that day is today, she is going to change the world. Because she changes the world with every person she meets. That's my baby. That's my beautiful princess. The giant slave. Roll onto your tummy. Good.